Hello, uh, we better be watching now or later. Head in here. Uh, almost half an hour late because, yeah, dinner went a bit long. And, yeah, the reason we push these strings back so much is because dinner kept going for long. And I don't want to push this all back to 9 because then we would be going on until 11 p.m. And, yeah, that would just be a bit much. Yeah. And also, don't force us to play a game where we start to get a bit more tired. Okay. Put that thing away because that was I was playing with the controller on another game. But for now, yeah, last time uh, we got some more portals made, but we haven't put them down yet. We put down <laughs> more drones, though we haven't seen them do. We haven't seen them in action just yet. And beyond that, we put up a bunch of a bunch of extractors in the areas and in the desert. We also got to know that there's an active limit of six per type at once. So yeah, we'll have to we'll have to find what that all digs up. And okay, I only that's an, that seems to wiggle the more you look at it, the bit of grass. <laughs> okay. Or, or the less you look at, the more you look at it, the less it seems to wiggle. But okay. Oh, we thought got something. Hmm? We, we are young here with me, Drakir. Uh, yeah, sorry. 
you just have to rush this in five minutes of startup. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's also why I didn't have the pre-stream screen up. Though, honestly, it, it doesn't really remove much to have that inactive. Maybe, I was, maybe I'll try starting uh, streams with uh, it off. Yeah, let's see. These are out of... Why are we out of everything? Oh, right, because we, we'd gone to the slimulation, which just emptied out our water supply. And we need the water to, well, activate the drones. So that would be a that would be a good reason to have a pond still somewhere. Because now we yeah. have to run all the way over to the docks to get water. It makes me realize. Are the drones steam powered? Technically speaking, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, and also, well up here a bit. if they mean get up to get the major later, I would have to guess that they need to start making their own meal. Yeah. But this time it was more late because of the complexity of it. In Greek. Okay. okay. These guys are well fed. Let's tip it up. We have more than enough of these freaking mangoes here. But actually, if it wasn't for the fact that there's an open area to the slime sea here, I'd probably let them free roam. Okay, but what's on the menu for today? Uh, probably finding out what the other materials are in the, de in the glass desert. But the primary uh, thing that we'll be doing will be putting up that teleporter in the desert, if we haven't already done so. Stop about the uh, mint mango stuff, the mango. Okay. Can you repeat that for a bit? <laughs> because that made no sense from what I heard. Hey, that's uh, for today. We will today prepare uh, Mean mango stuffed into another mean mango because there's so many of them. Yeah, let, let's see. Can I pick up gadgets? Oh, no, no, that's I need to press that here. I need to press that without this after. Okay, let's see. Target, fruit, source, gardens. Can we? Yes, we can make. We can have it feed the incinerator. There we go. Now that'll keep those guys uh, fed and safe, hopefully. Uh, if we had a second one, we could feed these guys as well. But uh, no, for now it, it'll just have to be... <laughs> have, to, have to see this guy, little guy, destroy fruit. <laughs> uh, why are you all so bunched up together? Weren't there more... I know we lost one of them, but I think we had more than five. And we can't install any auto gather on it. Now we can't install any gatherers on the on the incinerator. Oh. We already have one with these guys. Actually, did we have an auto feeder? Yes, we did. Might as well fill that up. Since we have. <laughs> We have more of these main mangoes than any uh, dentist would ever advise. And uh, I think also I'm say, I want to you to you put some man mean mango on your toothpaste, or just tell you eat a bean mango and your teeth will be clean. You get out of there. Uh, let's see. There was I also had the idea of mixing the tangles with quantums and letting them roam around. We'll have to get some fresh ones of either of the type, though. And again, we have an absolute surplus of mangoes. Why would I... Why did I grab these mint mangoes anyways? These guys... Yeah, we mix... Yeah, we... We can feed them... The, <laughs> 100 hunter plot. Yeah, we we are pretty much set with plots, I think. Uh, 
Actually, that's now because they're yeah they're getting fed now in here. Okay, so yeah, th these drones really are just almost invaluable. Speaking of though, I should fuel them up and then go over here to deposit all of this stuff. But I think we might have enough boom and honey plores, so the those we can sell. Yes. How is this gonna look like in the um, rock that we sit in each end? Oh, they're, sit they're still sitting on an entire layer of floors. Yeah, that's the question. Has it grown bigger? Not yet. <laughs> okay. How is this for front? Boom floors can still take. Okay, let's. Let's put some more of these in, just to be sure that we have more than we'll need. Yeah, of course. Well, we can we get this thing so fast. Just imagine this. You just you have so much force in a cage, and as far as I able to jump out. <laughs> that would be both hilarious and utterly frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we can put Bea the Builder. Okay. And we're short on honey stuff now. Okay. Oh. I get the own. <laughs> yeah, I like oh, Bob the Builder. And I didn't actually mean to step into this one. Hmm. That's an so I, I think we were also thinking on putting down a teleporter, like, as far to the end as we could. We don't have any other recipes for them. Do we have any... Yes, we have the grey, and we have bodice cards, and... Okay, we only need a strange diamond. Those will be easy enough to get. So I say when they are the rare item... <laughs> when they are a rare drop. Hmm. Uh, I th yeah, I th we should have more than plenty of both red and phosphor. So these can you can just sell. We have the pink ports to move over. And sorry that I keep interrupting you. <laughs> I interrupted you. Did we remember to put a port on me at the thing in the crystal Yeah, We have this one here, but this is at the very start of it. Oh. We were thinking of putting one at the end of it. And yeah, if we get... We'll check up on the extractors in a bit. If we find a strange diamond, we'll make another teleporter and just put that as far to the end as possible, because I'm pretty sure there will still be one more trowel behind that. Okay. But once we have reached the end uh, what, and face whatever trials are you know, needed for it, I think once we do reach that, we'll probably just go for it, because there isn't too much more for us to go for in this game, other than grinding out a lot of uh, the mini-games. True. Okay, Phosphorus can st not go into the button, go into there. So, yeah, let's just clean up a bit. See what else we can find. Um, yeah, extractors. And then we go look at the end. Yeah, more than plenty of these in there that I did see. We could probably get we we could probably dump out a few more of the gordos actually. Oh yeah, put <laughs> Let's just leave them in there with their toys. <laughs> but yeah, we let's try not to get too hasty with things because we still have two hours to, <laughs> to fill in this. And just running to the end and ending the game, that would be, well, a bit dumb. Yeah. This game is this game is just plain fun, but at some point, yeah, you would just run out of things to do, really. And we have 20, 
Can we reach? No, we can't reach 30 with this, but we can still have just a bunch of a bunch of cash. We still have a bunch of uh, plots unused. Actually, it's oh yeah. Day 32, and you only select one two times for free? Yeah, only a limited amount. Now, okay, he's getting carrots. I could, hmm. Let's give a bit of a look here. Once he is out of carrots, because they, the drones have an internal storage of about 50 items, I think. Once it runs out of carrots, will it go for the onions as well, or would it be better just to have... Uh, some other vegetable growing here. And we can actually clean this out a bit as well before these start climbing up a ladder of lords. And... No, it seems to just be satisfied with yeah, dumping a bunch of carrots in there. They're already yeah. again almost full. I'm so glad we, we have a drone feeding them now. Yeah, like we didn't have enough ports from them already. A more bit more of a... Let's go risk of us exploding. Yeah. Um, we can probably... We can, oh yeah, we, we can definitely sell a bunch of these as well. Extra. And yeah, we are just we're just overflowing with honey plorts, huh? Is that why you in the way? Uh yeah, I did say I'd let Beatrix sleep for once, <laughs> like in what uh, two weeks or so. Yeah, once or twice, just to get rid of the night, but then you just keep going. And he's suspected of being feeding her some of the sugar plorts. Yeah, or at the very least, the tabby plorts, probably. Or, you know what? Clip on fashion pods. Fashion pods allow you to vac up fashionable accessories for your slimes, shoot them on the slimes to total up, <laughs> totally up your game. It's... What? Where is that on there is... Well, there's still some resources. There's hmm. just a lot of things still to see. Uh, maybe not a lot, but still some at least. Now, where would that be? Let's see. Hmm. Still some place we haven't found yet? Oh, now this is about... This is about to... Wait. Something about the ransom that we haven't found yet? We have all of the areas here. Hmm. Where could that be then? Let's see. There's, there's still some upper areas that we could climb to. Check around. Hmm. Uh, let's have a little look around, then we'll get, check the extractors. If we get a diamond, we're making another teleporter. We're just putting it down at the very end of the desert. So there, there's still, um, there's still some of those oasises that we can revitalize. Hmm. Wait. Hello there. Maybe if we do that, it unlocks a new area for us, for our ranch. Yeah, maybe. So can I get up here? Yes, I can. Hmm. Oh, okay. That one was pretty well hidden over there. That's going to be a bit risky with going through it, though. But then again, we don't have anything too useful for carrying around with us. Oh yeah, you need to shoot the, uh, you need to splash the original, not the, uh, possible location of it. <laughs> hmm. Let's 
Should be careful with those guys still. some oddly shaped rocks. For a moment I thought that was something else. Okay, let's see. We had... I don't... I think I forgot to charge the drone here. And actually there was no real need for it because we just placed it down. Whatever is different around, uh, whatever else there could be hidden around the ranch, I'm not seeing it. Oh, that is the professor's lab that have a look at off area of his ranch, or something. Mm. No, then it would show three areas because you can you can get to, uh, the plo the plots that we've seen at each of their ranches. We we could get access to those if we get enough progress in their mini game. Okay. Let's see, there aren't any... There shouldn't be any Gordos left, but let's... Ad let's go check on our extractors. Uh, if we get a diamond, we make a teleporter. I've said it enough times now already. And... Yeah, then we have to the desert. I really, I really hope we do find a diamond, because then we can easily go back and forth. Because... Hmm, then we can check out if other areas still have Gordo... Uh, no, yeah, Gordo is hidden somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised. Already... Already exhausted here, huh? Let's save the quantums for us to make some tangles. Uh, some quantum entanglement slimes at some other point. Uh. <laughs> what are you two up to, Mochi? The last thing I want to do is make uh, you look bad, but it's still on the list. <laughs> hey, bitch. <laughs> Let's see, just some simple stuff for some chickens. Ten coin. Oh, again. Um. Point. Yeah. Uh, let's put these in here. Actually, we have more than plenty coin. And now we have a full silo. That is really, really needed. But yeah, extractors first off the pumps. Just <laughs> doing the little dance over here. Done. Some lava dust. Okay, these two remain. Yep. Never mind, that one remains. Do we have any extra pumps? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, just drop this off. Then we can go check on the mine, on the drills in the quarry. And then finally the bee box. Actually, we can check the apiary first because the teleporter here goes straight through them. But we'll want to empty our inventory first. Panicure is what we use those these stuff for though, especially the lava dust. Curios. Yeah. Curious as well. Honey and phosphor and buzz wax. Okay, so that's what it's used for. Mossy tree. Let's see. Pepper jam is used in the cactus. Okay. We haven't used any of these yet, so let's make one of them just to see what happens with them. Made it with food and weight. Let's see. We have a, a prime spot here. Let's see. Learn 
Okay, that's not going to tell us anything more about the snare itself, so let's install it. Wait, 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 wait. I think you used, you used them in the wild. Yeah, I think... I read a bit on the... on the wiki, and supposedly it just spawns a Gordo on top of it after some time. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just see. If, it, if there's nothing on it when we return, well... Hmm. Well, there's not really much that you can do about that. But we'll just see what happens with it. I probably shouldn't have put a Q berry on top of that because that's likely to lure a phosphor gordo. And yeah, that'll die <laughs> in the sunlight. Oh dear. Yeah, already out of water, huh? Let's see. These two. And I think we had a third here. Okay. Where we no, I don't think. Yeah, I think we. I don't have a single extra extractor left now. We can actually check the map. No, there's. Okay, there is no further apiaries here. Probably make a few more just to keep the stuff coming. Let's see. I only have enough for one advanced one though. So, there we go. It is still the better choice. It gives us uh, rewards three times, but only the price of double. Now it's to the quarry, and the mines, and the, now the drills. And yeah, really hoping it get, drops a, a strange diamond, because that'll make going back and forth to the end so much easier. You got quite a distance. Well, <laughs> I give him a compliment and he burns me. <laughs> Okay, no diamonds, and no drill. Sorry. Oh, there we go, diamonds. And you are the only one still going. Okay. I heard one move still. No, it's just the last one running. It's for you. You're going back in. You can give me that look if you want. Okay. The chickens are still alive. Okay. Let's put this in here. And then we can make the gray one. Advocates. I'm still surprised that they haven't thrown out the chickens from the pens. Yeah. And again, they haven't. Not many of them have gotten up there. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Perfect timing. And Ooh. there's still a gordo somewhere around here. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I, I've all forgotten about these silky sand. Huh? What is silky sand used for? Not sand, probably, apparently. Okay, quick back and forth still to drop all of this off. We also have some pumps and aviaries. No, a, no, not aviaries, apiaries over there. Let's see. Hello. Glass shard. A solid fragment of frozen fire. 
there's another thing. Um, that, those are apiaries though. Yeah, we put down a few more drills so we didn't have enough space to put down two of them. Uh, let's have a look at these things. Actually, let's have a look at them once we have all three of the uh, desert ones. Yeah, now I'm having flashbacks. So I, th I think I may have... I may have left something behind there because I picked up the fire slime. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> oh dear. And um, here's the, uh, th this area, I just had a couple made me remember an episode of the Aladdin series. <laughs> okay. I've seen some fragments of that show. I had some recorder. It is a good show. And, uh, just to read, I don't remember his name, but he made machines. And what an episode that they discovered, thought they found ice in the desert, but they realized it was glass. And it was from his machine breathing fire everywhere. Okay. So, yeah, you have a machine that breathes fire so hot that the sand in the desert turns into glass. It's pretty dangerous. Yeah, I had heard that it is a good show, and maybe, maybe we can now we can probably add that to our to watch list. Let's see, pepper jam, yeah, sweet, well, spicy, and delicious. Good. Bees are awesome. <laughs> pepper jam <laughs> is a common resource exclusive to the glass desert obtained by an apiary. Pepper jam is a strange substance found only in beehives of the glass desert, and is believed to be the, a product of desert bees obtaining pollen from the flowers of a spicy pepper plant found somewhere in the desert. Regardless of its origin, Pepper Jam gives an otherwise boring old toast ex experience a real kick. <laughs> and then we have Silky Sand here. The finest, smoothest sand you'll ever see. A rubbish for sand castles. <laughs> yes, that's, that's it then. Though the glass desert is covered with sand, silky sands found deep below the surface is so smooth and pure it almost feels like water. These qualities make it very useful in gadget fabrication. I will really see uh, how though. And then there's the last one, glass shards. The glass shards found in the desert are small fragments of the monolithic structures that cover its dunes and cliffs. These structures are believed to be the chaos of the dangerous solar anomalies that scorch the landscape. So using a drill to collect these shards is a much safer means of collecting samples of the glass. Yeah, because otherwise you end, you risk burning yourself. Yeah. Okay, so let's drop this off. Then we head to the end. Uh, we still won't go for it because we still have that fountain underneath... Is it underneath here, which which with with which we should be able to revitalize a bit more of the desert. Actually, is there anything we can make with all of the new stuff that we got? Um, Good question. Oh, silky sand is needed for the butterscotch teleporter. Okay. Uh, we don't have enough honey for another drone. Pepper jam. Oh, okay, you need them for the advanced snare? Okay. Hmm. And yeah, we don't have enough pinks for that. We should we should maybe mix the pinks here with uh, honey slimes to keep them fed as well. Or maybe mix them with phosphor. Just to have a bit of difference and <laughs> And while well, we already have their favorite over here. In Pasco could work. Just remember to give us some uh, protection. Yeah. Uh, solar shield, I might as well put the music box in there. And okay. let's not go for too many of them. Though Actually, the moment I start, the moment I make one Gordo in here, all of these guys are going to turn into Gordos once they <laughs> make ports. And yeah, there's about 40 of them in there at the moment. 
So I guess we'll have we'll get to see what the maximum capacity of these is. Oh dear. Already bumping around quite a bit. Okay. Nets should hold out, though. I probably should not have mixed them with the spe with the one species that has freaking wings. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. For now, though, off to the fountain and towards the end. Actually, let's head to the, to the end first, just to see how close we can put down the teleporter. And then we'll head back and see uh, yeah, how much more we can you know, liven up the desert. So, yeah, one... Well, it, I think it, it might be this stream or the next one on next week that we... We'll, yeah, we'll be done with this game, at, at least as far as it goes with story. Because, yeah, we could probably just spend uh, dozens more uh, streams grinding on the uh, minigames. And I forgot to check my energy there. But, yeah, that would just get boring real fast. Yeah. Hmm. I like to have a phone there. Oh, okay, wait, wait, is that engine water? Actually, I don't think... Oh, it's... Okay, now I see. Each of those pedestals that we uh, give a plort lights up one of the lights on it. But that means that... Yeah, there's one over here that needs a mosaic plort. But that'll mean that there's still another one hidden around. Oh. Let's see. Oh, and this is a <laughs> this is a safe path to go down here. Okay. Let's double check and see if there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing here. Hmm. It does raise the question though: where is the third one? Hmm. For now, we need to get one. Actually. The other one is probably also a mosaic one, so let's see if we can grab two of their plorts. Let's... Six berries. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> pause for... Also likes Q berries, which I literally said like five minutes ago, probably less. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. There's the last receptacle. Okay. okay. Uh, this one was a bit more hidden in plain sight than the others. Okay, good enough. And then... There we go. And now the fountain should be active. Yes, it is. Okay. And then we rush up. Energy still. And there we go. I think that is the only one in this area still. And immediately just a bunch of slimes everywhere. Hmm. There are still some over here, though, and there's a box there. Okay. Nothing of value, so I could risk that jump. So, here we go. 
Have fun. Okay. I think there are still a few more areas that had those buds growing around. But I don't remember where. Oh, Here's my last. Here. You still not found a prickleberry berry. The be yeah. The pear. Yeah, not a single one. Like you'd think they'd grow from the freaking uh, cactuses here, but not a single one has shown any anything. Hmm. Okay, would it be possible to get the ancient water over here in those thirty seconds? Maybe, unless you do a long shot. Wait, there's another statue there, you just walk past. Yeah, it's a statue, but it's not a receptacle. It doesn't have the uh, plort shaped mouth. Oh. And that that would probably be used as some sort of insult, a plort shaped mouth. <laughs> yeah. My guess is that there is a tablet that's somewhere jump spring on to life. My guess is that there's another fountain somewhere around here. Because there is no way we can get water over here in 30 seconds. Yeah. Have we come this way before? Yeah, we, ha we have been here because there was a gorilla up there. Hmm. And there's another one here. And... Hmm. Is there anything behind that or is it just a plain wall? That's a wall. Okay, I, I don't think we would have been able to find a way to break that glass. Hmm. Hmm. Now that I actually think about it, this game could probably be considered a sort of uh, kid-friendly or kid-friendlier uh, mist game. Because that also you have to explore around and discover for yourself. Uh, all sorts of things in the environment. What the heck was that you just walked past for plant? I don't think a board counts as a plant. So you walked past the bottom bit was in the ground. Or at least the past. Uh, these are gold silver parsnips. These are the, the, oh. the mosaics. Yeah, the mosaics favorites. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I didn't re recognize them in the ground like that. Hmm. Yeah, I hear tar. Okay. So... <laughs> the glass also works as a sort of wind chime. It's curious. Very curious. Ledge here. Something hidden. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Oh, good. well, there's this here. Oh, hell, finally a prickle pear. And just then everything turns red. Okay. Prickle pears are as, are as tough as the glass desert itself, having a thick, leathery skin and covered in sharp barbs. They're an acquired taste, to be sure. But those who, are, uh, but those that put forth the cautious efforts, will find one of the sweetest fruits in the known universe hiding within. Okay. And we have this one here. So finally, again, I get to pull out the map. And um, where did my red pen go? Ah, there it is. This is a lot more visible against it than a blue pen. So let's see. Hmm. That is about here. Again, the, this map has the area of the glass desert still as un, not revealed. 
So it can be a bit harder to just look at it and see where what is. So I don't really have the feeling that we'll get the advanced, the, yeah, the treasure cracker level, the level that we need for that one. Okay, that, that's. We are not losing this freaking yeah, pair. <laughs> It's like the only one in the entire freaking game at this point. Like there might it might grow from something, but we haven't spotted a single one of those. And wait, have we been here before? I th I think we have from a different entrance. Oh, hello there. Might as well bring you along. Nope. That was right on our ass. And yes, we have been here before. Ow. Actually... If that chicken's coming out of that alive... Then it's basically proof that it doesn't hurt them or something. Yep, no chicken. Okay, so they can die by fire. Which is probably a bit more obvious than that. <laughs> okay, missed opportunity. Hmm? Think about it. You threw a chicken into fire. And we didn't uh, get it out to get the grilled meat out. Yeah. Oh, the chicken. Is this going to recharge or... There we go. Nothing up here. There is no way that we'll ever be able to get on top of that. And now I'm hearing myself echo on your end again. Return. The mic more towards me. Yep. Okay. Let me actually mark these out as well. Maybe that will give me a bit of an idea of where the last fountain may be hidden. I'll put these down as a square. Just to I keep them different. And I still hear myself echo on your end, I think. You speak a bit louder than usual today. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can lower you somehow. Actually, okay, we can we can easily get that one in the thirty seconds here. Okay. Water. I I, th I think there's an achievement. Oh, oh, hello there. Goodbye. Hello. I think there is an achievement for when you revitalized all of the deserts. And there are some tangles that we need. Let's see. There's still a... There's 21 of those <laughs> treasure... <laughs> there's 21 of those still? Okay. I just need you. Not you. <laughs> okay, that that is still looks cute, even <laughs> even if it's a voracious carnivore. But not anymore. Wait. Oh yeah, they get damaged in these areas. One, two, okay. So these are basically safe zones from Tar. Yep, and I just realized something I surprised about not seeing yet, but might actually see in the, in the future, perhaps. And what would that be? Poor Gordo. I find that doubtful. But, yeah, we haven't found that last Gordo in this area, and you are very angry. Oh, hello, we have a survivor. 
Okay, here is another one of these. Our guys are right on top. Grab the map and put that thing away. Okay, that is around here. Cross out the other one since, well, we revitalized that one now. Little arm shields in place again. Because, yeah, I have a big ass mouse pad on the right side of my desk here, but not on the left, so there's a slight height difference. So, yeah, I keep this underneath my arm to have it on a bit of an equal height. Because you might not think much of that, but it does get annoying over time. Some dervish is pissing. I have a feeling we yes. probably want to find a portal and head home with the damn pier. Yeah. Oh, 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 there. There it is. Okay, are there any silver parsnips lying around? Yes, they are. See? Okay, we're close to the end, so let's just give this Gordo something to snack on, so it's on the map. Actually, how do we what get there? Yeah, it is about over an hour left. Oh wait, you meant that end? Uh, over here. We're, just, we're going to plop down the teleporter as close to that as possible. Okay, there are spots here. I very much don't. Can we reach this here? Yes, we can. We can even grab some more cars. Actually, no, let's not drop down. Hmm. Bit of a roundabout way to get to this door, though. It, and I ran out of upwards thrust there. Is there a different path to get to this one that we didn't see? Or did it? Yeah, I think they fully expect us to parkour all around like that. I think... Could it be... There is a path behind here. Maybe the fountain is hidden behind this one. This one is more of a path blocker than a key hider. Hmm. We'll have to see. Oh. For now, though... Where are we? Oh, here we go. Their fountain is somewhere around here. So we need dervish one for them. Which makes sense, for there are mosaic, dervish and tangle slimes in the area. And we've already done for tangle and mosaic. So yeah, that would only leave the uh, dervish ones. And I don't think we've been up here before. Otherwise we yeah, would have known about that statue. I think that's what I knew. Let's see. Quite a sight to gaze upon the sand sea out there, no? I've, scored every, I've scoured every corner of the desert and everywhere I'd look, that sand st sea stretches to the horizon. Makes you wonder just where the heck on the far, far range you are when the slime sea is nowhere to be found. Hmm. Yeah, it might just be that we aren't actually still on the same planet with this here. That or they haven't... I would not be surprised if they haven't fully explored the planet. Maybe, but yeah, I was going to. I, I was thinking about mentioning at some point that the uh, sea here looks a lot more like sand than slime. Hmm. Oh, what? Yeah. I thought, I thought you said the sand sea metaphorically, not literally. Okay, we can put the teleporter down there. 
It's probably as far as possible. So that is where I will set it. Now though... Yeah, here's the fountain. And what are quantum slimes doing here? You are far away from home. But I'll still grab you because I want to make quantum entanglement slimes. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. Hmm. Okay, we have one over there. There must be two more somewhere. Wait. Ronaldo. What? Hmm? Won't quantum entanglement slimes be a nightmare that they can't roll? It's just a pun, because they'd be quantum tangle slimes. <laughs> Not actual quantum entanglement. How do I see the pun when, you, when one remembers what both slimes do? I don't want to do the combine. Uh, finally... There we go. One quick entrance, and we're going through to put this stuff away. Uh, 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 wait, where should we get, grow the uh, pear? Pear. Pear, pear, Peter Parker, Peter. Whatever you call it. It's, we could probably grow it in the grotto here. We still have plot nuts left, and yeah, they wait, do like wait. those. Yeah, maybe one of these guys' favorite eats that I have long. Garden, and then immediately upgrade it. And yeah, it, it's the dervish's favorite. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hmm? It grows from a tree? Yep, apparently. Yeah. Pickled pears and prickled apples is the cactus. Oh, cacti. Yeah. But it is an alien planet, so. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's more closely related to actual pears then, which do grow from you know, trees, if I remember correctly. Yep. Yeah. Then. Oh god, that reminds me of something that happened to me once. Hmm? I was at my own place at once, was I had to be back yard, and suddenly a huge pear landed on my head. Okay, so uh, did you get any ideas opposite to the gravity? Well, I, I wanted to eat the pear, but it looked tasty. And revenge? Imagine I'm not out of the I was just surprised. I didn't cry or anything. I just, what the heck was that? Oh, a pear. And that oh, was a case oh, of something he's plorting. I beg your pardon, sir. Now, all of the fire slams uh, made plorts at the same time there. Oh, dear. Not you. Um, you're out of water. Ah, uh, yeah, the same for the port supplies uh, as the fire slimes. Out of ash, they decay quickly. Uh, I'm back in there, you. Just carrying around extra of the Dervis ports in case we miss uh, any shots on those uh, statues. Yep, you all are very well fed. There we go. Oop, those guys as well, but we already full on stuff. Yep. I'm guessing putting a fire plort under your pillow would be really nice. What? 
I, they are, they're, they're basically uh, heat batteries. Actually, mm, yeah, I, w I was thinking about feeding one of the 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 dervi a dervis plorts, but you know, that would be an easier way of dealing with them probably, but it would also be a more dangerous way. <laughs> so instead, we're making a slime space program. The last one. One of them is coming back. It's vengeance. We also have to get rid of those. Okay, that should be the place cleaned up. Still outside a few, but they probably won't find their way back in. Now for you, Bunch. Can I actually... Yes, I can pull you out. Yeah, uh, short, but okay. Actually... So these are a lot more close together. And, yeah, this is mean. Look at the eyes! I should clean up all the honey plorts as well here. Oh yeah, these guys can jump really high. So, yeah, you can't really keep them in a corral. Okay, you... <laughs> you, are, you are traumatized for life. Uh, however short that may be. Wait. Did, did it fly out of render distance there for a second or so because it vanished and then... Three of them appeared. Yeah, it looked like that. It looked like it split apart. Hey. Oi. Yes, Oi. yes, you're grumpy about being evicted. Get over it. Sploosh. <laughs> you hear sploosh, you hear the clattering sound of a lot of ruckus. Those there for a second. all that. Okay. Can clean up. Because if we're going to put quantums and tank angles here, then we do not want any stray honey plorts for them to become tars. At least not intentionally. Are you seriously gonna make angle and quantum into one? Yeah. You sound like just a young for fun! No. Oh. So now, the Quantums didn't really escape from this area, so I don't think they are a risk, really. Let's see. I'm not seeing any leftovers, I think. And well, if there are leftovers, we'll find out eventually. Okay. Still checking. <laughs> A bunch of grumpy quantums. And there we go. If we didn't know that this was the slime during that, uh, this area could probably become some sort of horror show. 
Yeah. Let's that? leave those to spread. Feed me, Seymour! Oh. Feed me! That's probably the quantum we saw at the top before. It's for you. Back there. Okay. <laughs> okay, that chicken's stuck. Getting down in your old days. Oh, 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 oh. oh I, actually, fire floors can be used to make. You make. You can't make Gordos with them, but you might be able to make Taurus with them. So let's be careful with that. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Oh, what's it? Was that? Was that one of the honey quantums? I pray it was. Okay, they're being a bit more troublesome already. Hmm. It's better than mixing them with uh, hunter slides because those have a very high radius for where they can detect something to eat. Yeah. Yeah, imagine if you had to uh, these one time with a candle hunter. They just mean pick up stick and far across the road. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if that... That might be something that could be tested at some point to see if... Uh, uh, if hunter quantums, uh, hunter tangles could uh, get a bigger reach or something than normal sized slimes. Now though, we have another nest of ports. Let's just put these away in the refinery. Penis drones. Wait. Is this hmm? primitive drones with this well? Oh damn good with the better one do. Yeah, the 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 main, yeah, the main difference between the normal and advanced ones. Is that the advanced advanced ones can uh, do two tasks at once? Don't know if there's much else that they can do extra. Like maybe they uh, last longer. Yeah, that last longer would be hopefully given. Now the cats are still, well, they haven't broken out yet. The cats are still grumpy about only having a vegetarian diet. Uh, pro tip, don't put carnivores on vegetarian diets. They will die. Yeah. But for now, we have three dervish plorts. We have that. Actually, let's go take a look. There's probably something over here to close actually, you know, things off. Actually, there are cases where the corner was a term, term war, but it's a very slow process through generations. Let's see. So much for that choice. Two doors, but they lead to the same area. Is that supposed to be a metaphor? Mm -hmm. A single phosphor. Let's see, I chose my door. I went back to the ranch and promptly sold it. I packed my things and took a tour of this beautiful land one last time, leaving these little notes for you. It was time I said goodbye to the life I had. My hands and feet tingled as I approached this monolithic warp terminal. What lay ahead of me was an adventure unlike any anything I had ever known in my life. I stepped on the platform, my heart racing. Eight. How are these last two here then? If uh, he went through already. Hmm. Wait. Not is one. this one? I think this one is broken. Or is this the. the it? Those are just. But there's not a note on that if you want to pass. Yeah, I, hmm. let's see. 
Doors like these. But I didn't go. I had packed for a new adventure, but it wasn't not going to be beyond space and time. So I said a little goodbye to what could have been in the Thor's Rants. I'm looking forward to hearing the sound of these those wind chimes. I've never been in love before, never you know, known anything like it. It's time I got to knowing what all the fuss is about. So good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head, but let your hearts do the thinking every now and again. It might surprise you. <laughs> well, that explains. Uh, he changed his mind at the last second. Or, well, it might have been that this thing is broken. Yeah, and it's with Tora. So actually, he did, <laughs> the motherfucker is closer than we thought all this time. Oh, how sad, you motherfucker. And again, Thor is probably old enough to be a mother, so he literally is likely. Yeah. And here's the freaking thing. Okay. Is this going to have any effect if we press this and go through the other door? Because I know Antichamber had some fuckery with space and such. And nope, same place. So yeah, a choice that doesn't matter. Or, well, the, the two choices leading to the same results. <laughs> well, in, in here I was expecting some sort of a big reveal. And oh, here's another one of these. Okay. Well, I guess all that's left then for now is to go look for those court uh, receptacles or statues, whatever term might be more accurate, and yeah, see, fill them in. That, that place may be not working until we have done the whole plant thing. And what have we here? A bomb. Coco a slime lamp. Okay. Uh, Cocoa slime lamp. Chocolate? Yeah. Chocolate slime lamp. Yeah. And we also still have this guy up here to deal with. So let's yeah. see. That would be about here. Okay. Hmm. Let's see about making some of those decorations to at the very least have seen them. And where is this leading us? Okay, here. Hmm. Actually, another to mark. And that is about here. Okay. We already know where the fountain is, we just need to activate it. For that, yes, we, we need are... to head back. Hmm? There is, you know, we're still missing one key. Yeah. And we need to feed that Gordo. So, actually, we could have filled up on silver parsnips. Or parsnips? Yeah. Yeah, par... Would it be a... Uh, what would be a multiple of parsnips? Parsnip? Parsnips? Oh, probably parsnips. But yeah, we can fill up on those at the ranch. Stuff at full that should be more than enough. Okay. That's for now. Let's... There's another one of those. We have been missing all of these freaking prickly pear trees, haven't we? And it wasn't late. One. Hello, there's this little That's area down fine. there. Oh, hello. Open up. And this is... Berry Slime Lamp. Okay. 
have to mark off. Hmm. I should have more flat stuff, <laughs> flat area on my desk here to put this thing. So, okay, this will do for now at least. <laughs> I just put it on the home trainer that's next to me. <laughs> That'll actually make for a decent table to have it like that. Okay, but how do we get out of here? Hmm. Obviously not this way. So I guess it'll be a bit of a blind jump around the corner. Actually, no, we can sand on the ledge. Hmm. Okay, then. Now, where are the other two? You've been down that path. Another? You have to walk past another critical pear tree. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here is one. Right. I'm pretty sure we've signed. We, yeah, we went down this hole, I think. So, yeah, we did see that one before, but we just didn't remember it. Hmm. I'm not surprised. I'm not a tree! And this is one we saw earlier in the courtyard here. Okay, we have one there, one there. Hmm. I annoy me. Where is that to find them all the return one in a box? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that can be a random chance for you. Have a look here. Hmm. We've been through here a few times, but uh, just to be extra sure. Oh. And the lamp? Coil grass. Okay. It's not actually near here, at least it doesn't resemble the picture which is hidden behind my webcam. Okay. Let's see. We have noted this one down before, so I can cross it out. <laughs> That's me actually at least signing myself. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Wait, I just realized something here. I think we're yeah. still on the same planet. It, like I guess we don't know. We this. This could be our completely different planets. Uh, and we have mail from Casey. Yeah, and, but hear me out. It's, the slime scene is made of slime, correct? Yeah. And here it is made what out of sands. Uh, here's me. What do you think happens if a lot of the sand blow over them? Yeah. The, yeah, that, that, that could make sense that... Uh, yeah, it is the same slime sea, only it's full of slam well, full of sand here. Hmm. Yeah, it is a theory, but it's something else. But the notes we've been reading seem to hint that this is still the same planet. Let's see, where could the last one be? It should be in this same area. Hmm. But well, one would think that uh, before they send people here, they at least, uh, you know, scan the entire planet. Yeah. And, well, we are, this place has the same, uh, when we're over here, it's the same time as on the other end at the uh, range. And it's just, well, not the same climate, but similar. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. I'll expect you to get cut by the glass. <laughs> oh, there's the last one. Hidden in plain sight like the previous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, that was a bit sad. <laughs> it doesn't even reach. Okay, let's just get up in its face. You can't turn me into a tour. It's... No, it's just that this thing is a... What? Oh, hello, there's a... There's a... There's a treasure pot next to it. But we don't have enough energy. Oh, it's a... A foot of the actual Gordo. Okay, just short on power, but we can mark it. And that is about... there. Okay. For anyone actually curious what I'm using as a, a board with this map, it's the, uh, well, it's the Fallout Wasteland Warfare uh, uh, the player manual. Because, yeah, Fallout has a tabletop game as well now. Uh, I think that's many of the games that have tabletop uh, and some good mm. and some this software was pretty bad. Okay, here we go. I think there was one over this way. Yep. That way, out of energy, 10 seconds. Out. And out of time. Hmm. Was there one this way? Oh, hello. Okay. That was random. Bunch of fire slimes out of. One of the okay. Yeah, that was unexpected, but you'd expect fire slimes to only appear when uh, that there's an anomaly going on, or a solar yeah. storm, probably. Yeah, that's not surprising. And more. Okay. These are more now than we can actually keep alive, I think. Now I'm seeing the cat, the damn trees everywhere. Yeah, it's just that the slimes have been picking them clean. Yeah, so we probably walk past them ridiculously many times without realizing it. Yeah. And here I was looking at the freaking cactuses for them. Yeah, for... As the one would expect with that name, Prickly Bear, oh, it should be probably one of those cactus trees. But no, no. It's a warm fruit. On our way to the tree. Just short. <laughs> ah, okay, this is one still. Um, might that be the last one? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, shouldn't have sprinted there. Now we have to wait again for this to recharge. Okay. We have plenty of distance to make that. And is this one? This one seems to be the. You now it's not the biggest, but it is differently shaped. It's more. The center isn't around the plant. Whatever the plant is. Here. And we can make this over there. Okay, let's wait for it to recharge first. For our energy to recharge, it is. There we go. Last one, it seems. Hmm. Okay, there's just something nice about seeing all of that stuff grow. Eh? 
and then immediately chickens getting devoured by tango slimes. Okay. Let's have a look at the map again. Okay. And that one is done, though I didn't note it down. That one is done. As is that one. Hmm. Let's have a little check with the achievements here. Let's see, sell 500 plorts, or 5,000, but I can't count. Be knocked out before 10 a.m. 50 units in each slot of a fully upgraded silo. Maximum upgraded coral, coop, and silo on the ranch. Okay. I think we haven't... Okay, three plant... I don't think we... We have an upgraded, a fully upgraded... Uh, silo. Not sure about the coops and corrals. We should have multiple of that are fully upgraded. Stand in a red ore for 15 seconds. Hold onto a tar for 15 seconds. Once bitten, twice bitten. Boom slam into the air. 15 slams in your fax stream. Uh, at once while on the ranch, okay? We could probably do that with the pink slime coral. Yeah. Six types of slime in the same coral. Okay. Three uh, sluggers in the same. Pond with five different slimes. Ten types of slago. Uh, <laughs> sent an adorable chick to a fiery end, the same place you are now destined to go. We had you told that one already. Now that was one of the elders. Oh, <laughs> I thought oh, there was yeah, an now I get it. The adventure continues. Complete adventure mode and set out for what's next. Okay, yeah, I, I really thought that thing at I really thought that we were going to find a second teleporter and get that. And there's actually no achievements for revitalizing the desert. Okay. I would have thought there would be. Hmm. It is part of the progress into the finishing the game. Could be, yeah. We, this area has been revitalized. This area has been revitalized. There, over here in general, this area is barren. There's no plant. Actually, no, there is another. There's one over there. Um, hmm. Then I don't know what else could be revitalized. Maybe there's something behind the Gordo. But so many, yeah. that seems like only a small area. Yeah, the Gordo seems to be blocking our path to something. Yeah. And you're gonna be in need more Silver Force Mates. Yeah, a lot more. But this will at least be a start. Okay. Need to go the long way around then. Nope. I hear Tar. Oh, hello there. Uh, where did it go? It went here. It, I think it's gone. And what to do? And they eat only chicken? No, they, you just need to hit wolf slimes with anything, basically. It's the lucky ones that only that you need to feed chickens. All oh, right, right. Right. And yeah, finally we find another gold slime and we dunk it into a pit. <laughs> uh, not good sound. Nope. <laughs> Tars and solar flames. Okay, something doesn't like us today. Just need to park four around. Lion dog. No, where they could just plant up here. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the farm. Get enough parsnips to feed this gordo. Check out what's behind it. 
And once we've done that, let's see... Oop. Let's see about that letter from... the mail from Casey. Because I get the feeling it's probably the last one. And that might actually be the end of adventure mode. It, oh, come on! <laughs> Distracting myself and paying for it. Yeah, no. Considering what the uh, H wrote, I almost suspect that Beatrix herself may end up returning home and to be with the uh, Henry. Yeah. We'll have to see though, and this time not jump once we <laughs> when we're out of energy. Say that I jump and get stuck in a corner. Okay, it's recharging. Uh, give this thing a snack. Really? Oh, no, 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 you will no, not eat no, that. No, no. Okay. Now let's get to the teleporter and get back. Actually, we might as well just test. Hmm. I get the feeling that last letter may be the end of adventure mode. Yeah, I guess it has been somewhat of a thread throughout the le her messages that uh, they love each other, clearly they do, but what they love doing splits them apart. So will they do that what makes... Uh, yeah, the, the question really is then, what really makes them happy, doing what they like or being with the one they like? Let's put all of this in storage. Uh, grab parsnips, head back, get rid of the Gordo, find what's behind them. And then we return to probably end the game. Okay, I can't stick you guys in at that. Oh wait, of course, it's still set on the freaking... I've made that mistake multiple times now. Oh, come on! There. Okay, a bit odd that we can't store these. Uh, hello, lone survivor. Wait, what? Did it just teleport right as I was about to launch it? I think so. Hmm. Okay. They might... Quantum tangles might be a bit troublesome if they start going over the edge. Uh, hey man, I just remember something. Hmm? Tangles are predators, right? Yeah. What the heck do you think can happen to the elder me? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll never know. You finally killed the entire... What's it called? Elder Dormitory? We collected what? an army of El old chickens and now they died. Yeah. I don't think we're going to fit all of these guys in here. Oh dear. Yeah, any recommend to have five of them? Uh, that's with the uh, water slimes here. Water slimes are fewer. Actually, we seem to be doing well with how much one of these gives. So let's just put up another incinerator. And hopefully it, the drone will be able to feed both of these. Yes, 
Stay in the bang. Just have to make sure that the drone gets enough water. Which is the one thing we'll have to do manually. Stay. I guess so, yeah. Let's see, what will you do? You're collecting more first. I'm guessing it's also calculating... Oh yeah, it's definitely heading over to feed those. Okay, so it, it can feed both of them. We just need to keep an eye on it for uh, how much water it has. Yeah, I am really curious what is in that leather. I'm also really curious what's behind that freaking Gordo. Gordo, leather? Yeah. Probably good to save that leather for before we end the stream. In case yeah. it is the... Uh, it is, in case oh. it is the end of uh, the yeah. adventure mode. But I don't think there is really much else for us to really still do in this game, except for, well, decorating the entire place and doing the mini-games. And that would be less interesting than investigating a mystery. <laughs> Pardon? It could be that there are still slime doors somewhere hidden. But it could also just be that... Uh, there are more keys in the game than you actually need. It's just kind of weird. Yeah, it a bit weird, yeah, but oh, it could also be seen as a uh, yeah, just a friendly thing for the player, so you don't have to go scouting every place out to uh, from top to bottom to get to the end. I take it. Toss the firestorms in here and steal their lunch. And again, from the looks of it, they have this actually a lot less ports than I imagined. A, must a bunch must have despawned. But there they go. There is all of their lunch. I'm kind of curious just how many slimes you could stop into this place. Oh no, don't, 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 don't. Okay. There's not going to be a cave in. A cave in of cuteness? Yeah. Okay, and that's going towards. Yeah, he's just, he's just collecting more. Oh, yeah, I am a bit split on this because, like I said, this game turned out to be a lot more fun than I uh, thought. And we, well, we have been busy with these sun Saturday streams here for two months now. Because, yeah, eight streams, one week. But, yeah, we are also... Hmm. I always get a bit apprehensive when fun stuff starts to end. Yeah. There we go. Oh, and there goes the shield. And back here, you. <laughs> it's a pink explosion. Oh, that must be the, uh, that must be, oh, ah, the one of ten different ones. Hey, get back here, you, you, you do look cute, but, uh, you would cause chaos. <laughs> Why are you scared? Oh, 
<laughs> uh, yeah, that is that is going to be chaos. At, at the very least, they can't get into the other areas yet. Uh, I'm, full, I'm I'm half expecting that next time we return here, the place is going to be utterly filled with slimes or bleh, with tar. Pity. We finally got something to snack on here. Still grumpy. Yes. Boing. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I always get somewhat apprehensive when uh, yeah, something I enjoy is starting to come to an end. Yeah, same. Yes, on the one hand, no? go on, yeah. Uh, yeah, say, you first. I want to say, I get nervous first. Especially the game, the game was so damn fun, and I realized the game is extremely short. True. But uh, yeah, it is better to uh, it's better to experience something and not have enough than to have experience something and to just for it to just drag on and on and on. Yeah. So yeah, as bitter as, as bittersweet as it may be, it is still more sweet than bitter. Okay, that's that's flames has a specifically has a problem with me apparently. As for that one. Uh, kind of a, a bit curious here. Let's grab that. Let's see, can I see one from up here? I'm looking for mosaics. Hmm. Can't see any. I almost fell down there. So let's go. Not for the dervish one, then, I guess. Good. I keep being a bit fearful with uh, the jetpack every time, but it's not. As long as we have power, we can keep going. It's just that after a certain height, you don't go up any higher anymore. We should be able to reach it like this. I'm not going up any further, but we can we can continue on all we want. Let's some ch chicken and some fruit. Some, some, no. oh, oh, you were hiding a key. Okay. Slime pass from oil, okay. Okay, that does look pretty nice. A mosaic rock. Aww. Uh, what is hidden up here? Oh, God, it's an iron bush. Or is it? Hmm. Is it just a, a way back? Also a pond. Hmm. Let's see, another estimate that would be around here-ish. There we go. Like I'm I know I say that this might be the last stream of this, and we still have 15 minutes-ish. And there's another over there. Hmm. Actually. No, I don't think we'll be able to get on top of that. Hmm. Well, I guess it, it wasn't hiding anything other than a, a shortcut. Is there anything uh, down here? Just another... Just more of the sand sea. Could there be something hidden there? 
no, another pause there. Nope, nothing hidden here other than the treasure pot, for which we still don't have the freaking cracker. Okay. Uh, like, like I said, I'm still making these notes, but uh, yeah, I might, I might continue playing this game on my own for general entertainment. Uh, let's see, that would be around here. So yeah, that's why I'm still keeping track of these. Like, I find it somewhat unlikely that there will be another stream of this. And so we'll have to see, well, we don't, we don't really have to see what next I'll stream on Saturdays because I already know. Because way back in the day when I first was streaming, I started with Heart, with Heart Space Shipbreaker. And I said I would continue streaming that whenever there would be another update to its story, and there has been one out for quite a while now. I just hadn't come to it, uh, hadn't come to uh, yeah, playing that one yet, or streaming that one yet. So yeah, that will be what will be up next for Saturdays. Nothing hidden up here. I think we've, I think we've revitalized every one of those plants. Hmm. Unless there is one hidden back here, but we've already, we've found three fountains. One corresponding to each of the new types. Actually, no, there is one more type of slime here that we haven't found those pedestals for. That would be the fire slimes. So maybe if there is a fourth fountain, it'll be for fire slimes? Maybe? We're getting quite a high up here. No. We haven't seen any slimes that need the water, so... Well, I mean, you know... And it's the slime thing, so that we... Oh wait, we... The puddle there slimes. might be a uh, need uh, the water slimes for some keeping. Yeah. Right. And luckily, there's no fall damage in this game, unless you fall into the sea. That is. What Wait, the the heck? <laughs> okay. Apparently, that was enough to tick it off. Oh, and we that just mentioned this little bugger. Why did I pick up mosaic slimes? Oh well. I find it unlikely that we'll run into a lucky slime again, but just in case. Seriously, we, we find... We find chickens after it uh, run away. Yeah. Um, actually, I think I would have one bit more news, uh, or Slime Rancher-ish related news. And it is that I ordered some uh, merchandise from, this, from the official store. It hasn't arrived yet, since it needs to be shipped over, overseas. But, yeah, when it... Hmm. Let's see, what did I order again? I ordered some plushies, a wallet, I think. And, oh, there... I did have enough space for another drill, apparently. Um, yeah, I ordered some plushies, a uh, wallet, and I think some sort of kimono. And kimono? Yeah. No, basically just a, an o sort of over a thin overcoat. I don't know what it is, so... Didn't expect you to buy a kimono. Yeah, I... I Kimono would be a closer word than whatever other word I can think of at the moment. Oh, morning I actually missed that. It, on the teleporters, it shows where they go. That is useful. Very useful. 
into glass. And yeah, let's go see what Casey has to say. And yeah, if that's the end of adventure mode, then that will be the end then, I think. I, I really think we have covered every bit of the desert or that can be covered with vegetation. Now we have here, we have multiple areas over here. We have that one there. Uh, that's barren. That's barren. Here are two. Here were a bunch. Inside there was one. One here, one here, one here. Hmm. Yeah, then literally all that would be left was would be more mini games and more gadgets. So let's see then. The adventure continues. Yep. This is the end of it. Another tour. Casey. Hi Bea. There's another tour coming up and I have a feeling that this will be the one. So here I am, packing, packing my bags and thinking of you. Maybe this is how it felt when you were leaving for your big adventure. Lots of excitement, lots of butterflies. And even though I know you're so far away, I keep thinking that maybe I'll catch you somewhere out there in the crowds. If that ever happens, I promise I'll sing a song for you. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> yeah. That is sweet. And I really hope these two do run into each other again, even if their work you know, keeps them apart. Because, yeah. <laughs> I guess slimes wouldn't be much ranchable closer to civilization and, well, this far away. There wouldn't be much areas to tour and hold uh, music concerts. But maybe someday, maybe someday old, they'll be able to. Oh. Please don't say that you'll go My heart can't bear the news Just knowing that you'll be A thousand light years away If you do And will you know when it's through When you find what you're looking for Will you know what to do thousand light years away when you do oh when you do and I should have said it before you were gone cause I'm kicking myself for waiting oh so long and I should have held you near every time I fear Somehow you just wouldn't feel the same So please don't say that you go My heart can't bear the news Just knowing that you'll be a thousand light years away If you do Oh, if you do I'm just sitting here gazing up at the stars Let's say we pick one out and call the whole thing ours And even though that light we see Ain't the same for you and me Well, you'll know and I'll know That you and I can't even be a thousand light years I do. I love you. Yeah, that that was beautiful.
Yeah, and now I don't know why Yak were crying beside. Yeah, that. Also, he cried due to the music too. What the? <laughs> and stay wiggly. <laughs> so... <laughs> hmm. Okay, I th I think that was depicting uh, Beatrix leaving with the shuttle. Or, hello, yep. oh, hello, you old motherfucker. What yeah, do you have uh, to say? The one hmm? seeing it was obviously Casey. Yeah, actually, let's. One more thing, because we have a bunch of money to actually spend. Uh, not here. Where where was that again? Oh, no, not... In the house, Hillian. No, something else with uh, all of the visual upgrades here, since, well, this is going it to be the last stream house. now. The house has those upgrades. Ah, yeah, pretty warm. Okay. Porch upgrades. Chrome... Chroma... Okay, coloring stations. I heard about it. Arts upgrades, more colors, slime toy shop, more colors, more toys, Mar market link, we already have a market link, and not enough to buy it actually. <laughs> okay, three messages, okay, Hobson, hello Beatrix, I just wanted to say thanks for taking care of the old ranch. I know we're left in a bit of a sore state from what I and from what I hear, it's looking mighty fine these days. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy knowing that it's in such good hands. A little thank you, I've activated three secret faults that I built years ago to stash a small fortune of mine. I had always planned on using it as a walking around using it as walking around money in the great beyond. Okay. But I ain't needing uh, for that no more. Uh, but you know me, I like a good adventure. I'm not telling where the vaults are located. Go explore. Okay, maybe one more stream. The chroma yeah. packs and the slime toys. Let's see. Miss Lubio, the 7C Corporation would like to congratulate you on obtaining the rank of Skylark 1. With this rank, you now have access to a new avenue of se creative self-expression, chroma packs. Chroma packs allow you to apply new color schemes to your ranch house, rack pack, and ranch tech, allowing you to stand out from all the other ranches on the far, far range. And while you know, we realize that most slime ranches never even see another rancher given the geographic separation between ranch and you know, uh, properties, we have a feeling that they know. No, yes, they know. <laughs> Please note that by the time you have you know, likely read this message, the Z7 Corporation has already installed a Chroma Pack terminal just outside your home. The 7C Corporation covertly installing machines outside your home quickly and reliably. Uh, let's see. Slime enrichment device is now on sale. Miss Lebeau, the 7C Corporation would like to congratulate you on the, obtaining the rank of Rolling Beetle 1. With this rank, you now have access to a revolutionary new technology for slime enrichment and preoccupation from activities that would otherwise hinder ranching. We call this new technology Slime Toys. Very impressive. <laughs> Not. Or very creative. Not. Slime toys can now be purchased from the shop we have just installed on your ranch. Please excuse the excessive pauses in that last sentence, but our technical uh, techni technician drones may have needed extra time for the installation and we didn't risk for our claim to be inaccurate. <laughs> Giving robots time to do their job right one sentence at a time. Okay. Let's see, where is that? Here is the chroma key thing. Let's see. Cobalt. Okay. How do we get that for a vacuum pack then? Uh, okay. Yeah. It has changed. Yeah. Is there some nice? Okay, this one looks pretty nice like this. Uh, yeah, better stairs, more paths, and these these archways now. We even have a freaking gate now. Now that we can close it, because uh, yeah, it seems to be yeah. missing hinges. <laughs> sure, Helian. Sure. 
Blame it yeah. on not having him just sure. And let's Don't see. blame it on you skipping out of uh, lifting weight. Well, these slimes do weigh nothing. But yeah, here are toys. We've seen the beach ball, we've seen the yarn ball. Let's go through each of these. Beach ball reduces agitation of nearby slimes, especially pink slimes who enjoy fun in the sun. The rock slimes who obviously don't understand toys. <laughs> it's just a freaking rock. <laughs> the, though they still uh, don't know how to knit any more than other slimes with the tabby slimes. The nightlight for the phosphorus. Uh, who, phosphorus slimes who are uh, just as spooked by the dark as the rest of us. Uh, and they live in the dark, Aww. so yeah, technically they live in constant terror. Oh. The power cell for rat slimes who like to live dangerously. <laughs> they are dangerous. Bomb ball. Uh, boom slimes who probably think this sort of thing is funny. A buzzy bee. For honey slimes who are sweet on honeybees. Actually, that one looks cute. <laughs> It kind of looks like the drones. Yeah. Reiki, Reiki. They really run out of that quickly. Okay, in a way, this is both adorable and creepy. And they actually move towards it. <laughs> They're hanging up on it. Snuggle! Okay. Uh, yeah, three vaults. Hmm. I have... Actually, I think I might know where. We have this island here. Yes. We have this island here. And I think we have another one. Hmm. That would be my best guess. But I don't remember how to get to those anymore. Let's see. Actually, there is one teleporter here that maybe that leads over there. So we can check we can check that out after we're done with the list here. Rubber ducky, already found that one. For puddle slimes who are less shy when a rubber ducky buddy is nearby. Octo body reduces agitation of nearby slimes, especially slimes dressed as a scuba fashion pod. Uh, that, that's part of the DLC. Uh, basically, skins for slimes that you can apply. Ah. A crystal ball. Especially for crystal slimes who are you, who can use it to see the future but will never tell. The uh. chicken. For hunter slimes who love toys they can pretend to murder. Puzzle cube. Uh. For for quantum slimes who have both solved and not solved it already before. Disco what? for mosaics, of course, who dance the night away when no one is looking. A gyro for dervish who did not uh, think stopping, uh, spinning could be topped. Okay. Charcoal brick for the fire slimes who can bring the heat because they're literally on fire. Soulmates. For Tangle Slimes who love a good reference to photosynthesis. Oh. And last but not least, the Stego Buddy. For Saber Slimes who are the only slimes to have no own Stegos in person. Okay. Wait, what? But you, you can't. But you can't. Hmm. Maybe you can rent Saber Slimes if you get high enough in a. In a. I've forgotten his name now. Okay, his name here. Did I hope the joke came out the stable part? Or... Are they hinting that stable slimes have been to Earth? Nah, I, I think it is just a joke, and the last thing over here was just chroma packs. Yeah, I suspected you too, but... Yeah, you, you're sinking the game so far. Let's have a little look here. Uh, I like you more. 
If you listen closer, you can hear a boom slam cell vibrate, but don't listen for long. Okay. Yeah, I... I say this thing is useful at the start, but not for long, really. And yeah, let's go through that teleporter that's over here. Not this first one. This leads to... Uh, yeah, this place. And yeah, if we had enough score in this, we'd... Okay, that, that's an upgrade that I'd read about. Basically... New upgrade available slime key. A, a, sp a single spare slime key just in case you can't seem to find the last one. Okay. No. Okay, but yeah, that maybe. Uh, what was I thinking? Yeah, if we if we get if we get a high enough uh, total score with this mini game, we'd get access to the plots. Uh, we'd also get that upgrade for. I think gardens, which makes the most sense is he's, he's a crook and all. And no, this teleporter leads over here. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I think... Wasn't there a... There's a teleporter over there. Far to the south. Let's take a look there. I only remember that one because we constantly kept forgetting to feed the freaking tabby. Sponge tree. Not going to mark that one at the moment. Just going to move on. Bunch of angry boys behind us. This is probably the rocks. Nope, nope. They're okay. Just raised <laughs> spiral steam. Uh, let's see. Okay. Further down. But uh, yeah, I oh. come the hell on, and it suicides. Okay. But yeah, as for Beatrix, I think once she's uh, done with the ranch here, she'll probably head home. Yeah, now she just needs to, you know, gather the money to tell her all about home. But no, no, someone had to spend all the money on decorations. Well, it would mean that she could sell the ranch for much more when she does. I'm taken. And yeah, from what I've seen, what, what has been seen of Slime Rancher 2, it obviously doesn't take place in the same area. So, hmm. Now part yeah, of me I... hopes that it will be a surprise multiplayer game, or option at least. But yeah, from what I... I've seen, they have said that it's supposed to be a single player game, but it could be just them saying that to avoid spoilers for the first game. Possibly. Though, even if it's single player, case it could still appear. Yeah. Oh, and here's one of those vaults. And I, I, I did, it wasn't that I knew, but I had a good, strong feeling that they would be one of them would be here. And this would be where those remaining slime keys are for. Oh God! You see, screw for duck. Okay. What are these for? Oh, uh, okay, it's just a bunch of treasure pots. And what will you do? Oh, it must spawn a bunch. It's a security system. Okay, so there isn't really too much uh, reward for finding these. Uh, well, there's obviously rewards, but we can't access these treasure pots. So they're, they're kind of useless to us. <laughs> oh, that, that's a lot. It's a hell of a lot of them. But again, it's like a 
It's like finding a, tra a vault full of uh, canned food, and you don't have a freaking, yeah, you, know, you don't have a freaking can opener. Oh. <laughs> uh. So yeah. <laughs> I'll probably continue playing this game on my own time, and I'll I will look for the other two vaults. And is it just me, or do they look they look extra happy with all? This? I think it is just me that, or they are just being Scrooges and swimming in their own uh, <laughs> with their own riches. Uh. I might be extra happy due to the toy. Oh yeah, like I was saying, I'll continue playing this on my own time, keep upgrading this thing for whatever else visual upgrades there are. I'll look for the other vaults. With that one being over here, then it's as good as certain that the next one is there. And that one is accessed by a teleporter somewhere in the quarry. Then it would also stand the reason that there is a uh, teleporter hidden somewhere around here. That'll give access to a different area. I don't think it's over here, because there's a bridge linking that. And... Something flying around my room. Okay. But for now, though... Yeah, that'll be the end of the streams here. I'll probably... When I do find all of the extra stuff, I'll probably make a short video and put that on YouTube to show all of that stuff off. Uh, if or when, I should probably say, because I might I might just get distracted by other stuff. But for now, I'd say the last two months were definitely worth it playing this game. Oh yeah, definitely. And yeah, when Slime Rancher 2 launches, we are definitely putting that on the Saturdays to continue on. And, <laughs> and I... I wish uh, Monomi, the prime recent developers of no Monomi Park, all the best with uh, making Slime Rancher 2 and whatever other games they might follow after that. Yeah, same here. So, for now though then, thank you everyone who has been watching throughout these videos, and be it now or later, and as always, thank you especially, Vakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, next week, continuing on with Hardship, not, not Hardship, hard, hard Space Shipbreaker, uh, not Hardship Space Breaker. So that would make, make a nice parody of something. And yeah, as usual, tomorrow on Something Sunday, we'll be trying four games again, or showing them off just because I like them, but I'm not sure if they'll be streamable or at least entertainable. But beyond that, as always, until then, until then. See, folks.